release is celebrating Reggae Month and is brought to you by App Jam Productions and Taylor Made Events and PR Management. But Marley said, one good thing about music, when it hits you, you feel no pain. Hi, I'm Telisa. Welcome to the release. We are celebrating Reggae Month. I have a special guest on set. We'll reveal that guest when we return. Celebrate reggae with the release all of February. No matter where you do your job, please people. Got me so so bright and mad and pricey. Pray for you and spend a life for length and peace of mind. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, I'm your host, Telesa, and you're watching The Release. So we are celebrating Reggae Month. So we have some amazing personalities that will be on screen for the month of February. I'm here with the CEO for Ireland Records, David Ireland. How are you, Ireland? I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Feels good to have you on set. Thank you for having me. And you have been such a great supporter to The Release from the inception of it being aired on CBM as well. It's my pleasure yes. and I must add that the release has contributed significantly in the growth and development of our brand Ireland Records. Awesome, thank you so much. That's so good to hear. So I know you have your very first reggae rhythm, the reggae dance rhythm. Tell me a little bit about it. Oh, the reggae dance rhythm um, is fully produced by Ireland Records. Uh, it features Dakior, um, who is sing, sing, singing about poverty and how you can evolve. Um, Loot and Fire is, he touch on the point of fake friend persons being, you know, all about the clout and, you know, not being genuine. Right. We have Avante, which touch on the struggles as well. You have Teflon, who is singing about Mother Earth, nature, and, you know, the littering. And that is also something that we want to discuss and keep looking at in our society yes. about littering and the drainage and so yeah, forth. Um, frass. Yes, definitely. Frassy touch on the point as well as, as, as poverty as well. And so is Nkosi. Wow. This is, this is pretty amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. But right now we're going to check out our new releases. The Cure has released the single Oja. Queen Africa has released the single Silly Thoughts. Dario and Nuni have released the video for We Rise. Alba Rosie have released the video for Fair to Understand. I'm pushing energy like a generator. Well, it's looking for a better Sizzla and Ibro have released a lyric video for Stop the Violence. Youth getting up and kill themselves every day. Come rally, rally, rally. Bonnie Ruggs, Samoriai, and Carbon have released the video for Run Away. Bushman has released the lyric video for Steam. So very often, stereotype and stigmatize, but all is dark. Listen to the message when we are in. Turbulence has released the video for Children Are the Future. And call it the spoils of war. In technology, Facebook has updated Messenger Kids with new options for parents to see and control how their children are using the messaging app. These tools can be assessed by parents through the Parent Dashboard in the main Facebook app. Parents will now be able to see more details about who their children are messaging with, whether they're video calling them, and a history of anyone you've blocked in the app. In fashion, Virgil Abloh and Nike's popular collaboration continues this season as Nike has recently unveiled its forthcoming training collection in partnership with Off-White. The assortment sees Abloh reinterpret Nike Pro's pieces with a youthful and refreshing spin that accentuated with 
bold graphics and a distinctive color palette. All right, so those were some amazing new releases. Now for the month of February, the release will be embracing reggae music. So send us your submissions to submission at thereleasejaa.com. Now I'm still here with Ireland. Ireland, what was it like working with Queen Africa and Jacure? It was exciting, but yet humbling to see that um, these two artists, they are known, as I said before, they have a great track record of um, selling our culture, our music to the wider world. And uh, to, for them to believe, you know, that we can collaborate, you know, and doing music, acceptable music to the world, it is really a great initiative for us. Um, at Ireland Records. That's pretty amazing. Thank you so much, Ireland. All right, guys, so now it's time to check out our first feature. Barry Salmon, of course. I feel good. I feel good because your perfume isn't loud. That only I can talk about. You know, it's a culture Rastafari I deal with, seen? Yeah. So I say a lotion and straight up. Every time. Rastafari system, seen? Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, bless my soul, oh, John. Oh, most high God. Glory be to most high God. Hallowed be thy name. Well, my favorite regular artists are chronic still, you know. From over the years, from chronic most still. I just my artist that from ever since. You see what I say? Yeah, I want to this artist right now. Well, the best, well, the best line we can sing still. I want to skanking, skanking, skanking. My favorite reggae artist is Gregor Isaac and Nightmares. This is like a lunch, you know? So I feel by him, yeah man. I man. Joy cry, even tears, even my heart cries, but who cares? My favorite reggae artists are like Bob Marley, right? Yeah, I love a song where I sing iron like a lion inside. <laughs> Right about now still, you know what granite still was a good youth still. We are back in ideas. Real man still, no? Yeah man, I don't know. I bust a little piece of him chose still, you see it? Yeah man, it's all about like this. Bless me, bless me, mighty Jaja, bless me, bless me, don't let them curse me, bless me. Bless me, bless me, mighty Jaja, bless me, bless me, so that they can curse me, bless me. Really and surely we want to say, Bob Marley is the greatest singer over the whole world. And the song we me love most, where Bob Marley sing is One Love. One Love, One Love. Favorite reggae artist, um, Bob Marley. Don't worry about the thing, cause every little thing gonna be alright. And it was written up in the book of life. <laughs> Medication. medication, medication gets you high. Your medication makes me high. Just be patient. Luciano. Some may tell you that them love you, but them got an ulterior motive. Oh, what a shame. And them will tell you that them love you, but them got an inferior motive. Personal gift. Some may tell you that they love you, but you got an ulterior motive. Oh, what a shame. Big up the release, number one show year to year, straight out of Savlamar, we're representing. All right, now that was definitely an interesting feature. We're going to a quick break. Make sure you visit our website at www.thereleaseja.com. Celebrate reggae with the release all of February. No matter when you do your job, please people. Got me so, so bright, I'm out to crisis. Pray for health and strength, a life for length and peace of mind.
welcome back if you're just tuning in i'm your host telesa and you're watching the release we're still on set of our special reggae month feature and of course i'm here with ireland how are you doing forgive me for calling you ireland it's david ireland okay what well, you have an entire ireland brand yes. but tell me a little bit about what you were doing before you went into production well i've been an entrepreneur all my life i started out um Whilst going to school, we are selling bag juice in Coronation Market. Um, we move up, and it, this was my elder brother and I. We started selling Irish and onion, you know. And as persons would come and buy in large quantity, we would ask, and they would say they have a restaurant, and we, you know, would pitch the idea to them about instead of them coming to the market, let us bring the produce to them. How did that transition into music production? I was born in St. Mary, but grew up most of my life in um, Seaview Gardens. And um, through business, I have um, elevated through another community. Um, and I was looking back and saying, how is it that I can help my um, peers, which is the community youth? So this is uh, in Seaview Gardens, right? Yes, right. definitely. And uh, so they introduced and say, we can buy a rhythm. So I did just that and that gave birth to um, Redeem 21. So really looking forward to more productions from you. Right now though, we're gonna check out our next feature. Total of six events starting off from March 12th to the 15th, and then we have a surprise event on April 2nd. So stay tuned for that. When we picked the themes, the theme that we got was Diamond Falls, which is a really big waterfall in St. Lucia. So what we did is we wanted to incorporate both the actual look of the falls and the, the meaning behind it, diamonds falling. So we decided to do three costumes, backline, midline, and frontline. We're looking for the regional integration on Ring Road. We want to see the band well represented and definitely see the culture grow at this level. You know, it's one thing for it to grow in Jamaica, but it's really important here too. of the costume is Sapphire and basically this is a jewel in our mist so that's why we use the holographic colors so when the sun hits it it has shades of blue green you know just beautiful colors that will be on the road we have new events um, the structure of some events have also changed and I think it's just, I just the aim of it is just to be more inclusive so yeah So the theme for our band is Thea, and Thea is the goddess of light and heavenly sight. So basically what we thought about was light, light means white. So we went on and saying, all right, white and gold kind of have a nice feel, but then we thought to do something that was different. So we said, all right, we have light, so let's go to darkness. So that's where the Lilith came to birth. And our costume was just, that's what basically we try to bring across through our costume, the goddess of light and the goddess of hell. It's Explorers of the Caribbean. The costume is inspired by the Caribbean islands. So the blue for the Caribbean sea, the yellow for the, the sunshine, and then we'll have a little pearls as well because we're trying to intertwine the beach and the whole treasure aspect. Because one of the themes of the band as well is the whole Pirates of the Caribbean theme, the Pirates of the Caribbean feel. So we try to incorporate all of that in the costume. So from the Caribbean islands, from the waters of the Caribbean sea, from the sun, from the Caribbean, from the, the sun, yeah, and from the gems, the different pearls from, you know, they talk about the pearls of the Antilles. So we try to incorporate all of that in the costume. This year's costume was inspired by the overall theme of the carnival and for us we picked Havana which is the city of Cuba. For our costumes and our band and our company overall we're just looking for persons to have a great time, literally. Just have a good time on the road, show them it's UE Carnival, it's the young people, it's fun, it's cheap, 
It's great. If you don't know about weed, then go check your dictionary. Mm. Watch out with a bum, sit a bus and stand up. We bump a legendary. All man line up. Well, to be honest, I'll say that I saw a lot of people, a lot of different halls being represented. It was really fun. They got outside personnel to come and show off their costumes for Carnival 2020. So I think it was pretty successful. It was really good. It's a step up from what they usually do. UE Carnival is clearly going great places. I'm proud of them. Giving people an exquisite vibe and the two minutes of Carnival, safe, clean, fun, and just pure vibes. <laughs> now that was a great feature. So Ireland, I must ask, who were your reggae influences growing up? Well, um, like 90% of the world, Bob Marley. And, uh, but I think one of the songs that um, stuck with me is one sing by Tony Rebel. Say, it's no political act. It's not the coke and the crack. It's reggae foot Jamaica on top. Wow. I like that. I like that. Was there, would you say that Tony Rebel was like a favorite artist for you back then or you had a favorite reggae artist back then? Not so much. I was more into the dance hall. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, um, Seaview Gardens is home to like the Shabarangs yeah. and Bounty Killer. So Bounty Killer was really the, the my favorite artist, mm -hmm. right? But the song that I just quoted, mm -hmm. that was a song and still is one that answered the question that you asked about you. wanting to get involved into reggae. I love that. All right, so very interesting conversation here, but right now we're going to check out our next feature. Greetings to everybody that come out from near and far. Big up Lady Anya Promotions. I'm here on behalf of Lady Anya Promotions. I'd like to say you're all trying to be represented for Lady Anya Promotions. This is the most anticipated last year. Shine and Soul Supreme, right now I'm a winner. Big up to Lady Anya Promotions. Big up to the whole of New Jersey, New Jersey Cup. to the world I represent my jersey. You understand me? King Shine versus Soul Supreme. I don't know. I'm supporting the Clash. Big up the world crew. You understand me? The world promotion. Big up the world world. Clash you say that keep Clash alive. You see it? Big up. The best sound winner. See me I say. One of the United Billings. You know it got up. This is Lady Anya. New Jersey Cup Clash number six. King Shine versus Soul Supreme. This has been a magnificent turnout. I want to thank everybody for coming out to support. This is number six. Come on, you dead, you dead, you dead, you dead, you dead, you dead. Try to disrespect all the people. Love us, people. You know, you know, this is something I played around here. Men, I need a new tune yet. You see, we ain't play a theme first round. Me no say now have long for going to that dance. Yeah. You see that song out? Yeah? Request to all who are going to dance a long time. You hear that tune? I'm going to see my And yo, tell them to the end of the year. You know, man, see, you know, you know what it is? Jersey, can I ask you a question? Okay, we build a better nation when everyone is up for this segregation. So, so, we do it all the way. So, so, we do it all
Revolution. I just release, we are released. Dancing good tonight. Jimmy put, Jimmy put up a semi fight. Not a full fight, a semi fight. But he did alright. Big up Larry Anya, you don't know the whole team. So release. Me not really drink when me are crashing up. But me don't crash now. So me go look at you. Say, Madam Me, Fire Jack, Soul Supreme. Oh, why up? All right, so that was definitely an interesting feature. We have so much more when we get back, so stay tuned. Celebrate reggae with the release all of February. No matter what you do, you can't please people. Got me so, so bright, I'm out to pricey. Great for health and strength, and life, and length, and peace of mind. Good evening. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're just tuning in, I'm your host, Telesa, and you're watching The Release. So I'm still here with David Ireland, the CEO of Ireland Records. Ireland, thank you so much again to just be a part of this Reggae Month feature. So you are not new to dancehall, but you are fairly new to reggae. How does it feel to be a reggae producer now? It's overwhelming. Um, the name Bob Marley, Dennis Brown, Jimmy Cliff, just to name a few, are some of our most successful of our music. Um, so to do the type of music that these persons are known for, it is definitely an honor to be a part, to carry on the legacy of these greats. Yes, I agree with you. Reggae is so powerful. All right, guys. So right now we're going to throw to our final feature. My name is Kimona Miller. I am proudly sashed by the release. I am Brittany Hayden. I proudly wear the sash 876 Cheek Beachwear. I am Tara Butner and I proudly wear the sash Miss Gogas Alberto. I am Roxanne Nelson and I am honored to wear the sash Artistic Nails by Marsha. The launch of Miss Michael 2020 was successful. You met the ladies, they're all 16 beautiful ladies with a purpose and I'm excited for the Grand Coronation because I know they each possess something unique, something different and they're definitely bringing something different to the Miss Michael 2020 pageant and I can't wait to see them bask in their glory. First part is that I'm from Montego Bay when I came to Kingston and I entered the Miss Universe pageant. They used to say this again and already yet, and this again a country girl from Mobe and Jamaica has so many more other girls that can represent, and they bashed me so much um, that it took a toll on me, right? Um, I went ahead, I knew I was pretty, I knew I was beautiful, and I knew, knew that I needed to get help. I entered Miss Universe Jamaica Northwest in 2015, and I won. <laughs> to you because I want you to shift to an equality mentality. I don't want you to look at the next person and think that they are more deserving of the crown than you are. I want you to think that you are the person that they are looking for and you are just as deserving to win the crown just like anybody else. The launch is excellent. It was well done. Let me use this opportunity to thank the organizing team for putting together this marvelous launch. I I'm liking it. The ladies look the 16 ladies looking good. They are very intelligent. It is my pleasure as the president of the student student body here of the, at the Michael University College, we as an institution is happy about this and that is why we have the second staging of the Miss Michael competition because this competition will help to build um, the characters of our colleagues here because teachers are not only members who go into the classroom to talk and talk but also we are role models we are nation builders we are talented individuals so yes i am grateful for this opportunity as president and it is as president to be able to have the second staging i am honored to serve once more 
as the executive director of the Miss Michael pageant. My name is Romain Kenton and I'm the director for the Miss Michael competition. The theme for this year is women in education, embracing the greatness within. And the theme is very important because we believe that women in education should take place. We believe that they should embrace their talent, their skills and everything about them so that they can impact the lives of students as they grace the working world. Well, uh, the theme is building character and redefining purpose. I think that this competition helps uh, the ladies to build their character, also showcase it to other individuals, not only in the college, but now through the medium of media. I definitely enjoyed the Miss Michael, the launch of the Miss Michael 2020 this year. It's my first experience and I really, really enjoyed it. I love how they excel and show different side of themselves beyond their school tenure and beyond what they are doing in school. I loved what I saw, how they carried themselves, how they projected to the audience. It was really exciting and I'm definitely looking forward to the coronation. I should win Miss Michael 20. 2020. I should win Miss Michael 2020. I believe I am most deserving of the Miss Michael crown. I should be awarded the title Miss Michael 2020. 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 I don't need to say why I think I should win because I know that I will win. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that feature. We've come to the end of another amazing episode of the release. Thank you so much, Ireland, for being on set. Thank you so much. All right, so um, the, the, the the rhythm is out, right? Yes, it is available on all digital streaming platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, if anyone wants to be hands on and 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 music for free, um, there are CDs that we're giving out um, by by myself, David Ireland, then you have um, Christopher G, Lawrence L. Deacon, Avante, Steve Mingo, just to name a few um, of the team Ireland. Alan Records was so instrumental in the release being placed on CVM. He definitely helped us out 100% in maintaining the program. So thank you for being a part of our journey and still being a part still of our journey. Of yes. And of course, a special shout out to Novelty Party Rentals for my beautiful set. What do you think about the set? You like the set? Yes, man, definitely. Yes, yeah, nice to go vibe out here. So yes, I'll carry it over definitely. right now. <laughs> and of course, a special shout out to Moni for, for my makeup, to Urban Chi for my hair and of course the loud fashion for my outfit guys if you're not following make sure you follow at the release ja on facebook instagram and twitter i am telisa and this is the release is celebrating Reggae Man and is brought to you by F-Jam Productions and tailor-made events and PR management.